Make sure you have your camera ready because I got this that the third plan for us and I want you to vlog it because I know you're gonna like it. Like little things like that, I just I just have I ever experienced a threesome. Should relationships be 50 50. Welcome back to another video. It's your girl conceited. If you guys are new, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, join the Kazita gang because you're going to love it here. Period. If you're not new, yo, it's T. Like, we back, y'all. We back and we better. Y'all seen by that title, seen by that thumbnail. You know, y'all already know what I got going on. T -t Today, I'm doing a Q&A type of video. Um, really a girl's talk. That's really what I want to call it. The girl talk series with Conceited. Um, yeah, I had people on Instagram ask me some questions. Most of the questions were based off one topic so i think i'm gonna do this in series um today we're gonna be discussing you know relations and sexual activity with your partner different questions based off that and yeah let me know like if you guys have different opinions or if y'all like the advice stuff your girl give you just like let me know in the comments and if you guys want more of this you know subscribe because it's multiple parts to q a without further ado y'all let's get straight into this video oh Hold on. I called it girls talk, but it's tipsy girls talk. Tipsy girls talk. Tea. <laughs> We're gonna get straight into this video. I'm sitting in front of the river. If y'all don't know me by now, then y'all should know that me and this river, me and this river get along really bad. Like I love looking at the water, so soothing, so relaxing, so. That's where your girl is at. Let me show y'all the view real quick. Let me show y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's get straight into the first question. So, first question I got is, um, how was my first time having sex? Okay. First time having sex, um, I don't really want to say that age, y'all. Oh, I don't want to say that age. But my first time having sex, it was not what I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. Um, how we did it was very like secretive in a way, but not really because his people was cool. So it wasn't secretive, but it was on my end. I just didn't really tell my parents. And then plus I wasn't even ready y'all. Like I wasn't ready, but it was just like the vibes and the tensions was there. So it made it seem like I was ready. But the whole time y'all, heart was in my stomach i was just like no way i'm finna get this shit up like i was not expecting that but um my first time it was kind of painful i'm not gonna lie didn't really care for it didn't like it that's why i be trying to tell girls like just wait because it's never that serious like if i could take it back if i could snatch it all the fuck back i would because um yeah it was just very painful but i mean i guess you have to go through it to like fully enjoy and experience sex because baby, after that <sighs> yeah second question is it a different vibe kissing a girl versus kissing a boy Ooh. okay if y'all don't know now you know like i wouldn't say i'm would you call it by I don't know if you'll call that by like would you call me by like i really like girls y'all i like girls i love how girls look i find them very attractive i can see myself taking it there with a female but i don't know if i would consider myself by but either way it go i like girls i find girls very attractive so yes i've kissed a couple girls like a couple times um is it a different vibe yes and no um i don't know i feel like when i kiss girls it's like fun like it's always just been a fun time it's always we hee hee ha ha afterwards i never like took it to the extent to where we do more than just kissing like i've never done that with a girl so i could just say like honestly it's just fun because um i don't know i just got a different feeling when it's like kissing a guy because i know it can like potentially like go different places but every time i kissed a girl it's always been like one of my homegirls and stuff so that's why I just never took it like as serious or 
I when I kiss them, I never would think like, oh, we finna have sex or nothing like that because I don't know. It's just I don't know. I just never thought about doing things with my homegirls either. Like the most we'll do is kiss y'all, and that's because and we just don't be kissed for fun. We don't just kiss for fun. It's just like when it's drunk festivities and we're just having a good time. So yes, I feel like it's a different feeling, but I feel like it's in a different way. Like not. I wouldn't say in a good way, but I wouldn't say in a bad way either. Like, it's a different feeling because I feel like I'm not going to get turned on as much as if I'm kissing a dude. You feel me? So, this question is, what are my love languages? <gasps> oh, y'all, I got some love languages on me. Um, I'm so pretty. I'm so fine, so sexy. First love language. Um, quality time. I love spending quality time. That's, like, number one thing. Because I feel like if you're not spending time with me then you don't really like like me or fuck with me like you say you do like my my boo every day every day he on it every day he see me every day he just with me and i just love it because it's just like i have my own little personal bodyguard with me and it's just like i feel so protected and safe when it's just like i'm always with my partner so i love me a good quality time um physical touch physical touch is like 50 50 like i love a good touchy touchy feeling i love touching on my boot or whatever but i get aggravated <laughs> babe you see this i get aggravated y'all sometimes i do get aggravated he do be peeping at i get aggravated because it's just like yeah i like touching you but also i like my own space and it's just like always like 50 50 it's never in no between it's just it literally switch up every time we would each other so, I like quality time, but that's like an and 50 50. I like acts of services. I like doing things to make my boo happy, make them satisfied. If my boo done did the whole nine yards for me and he talking about something or she peeping something that needs to be done, then baby, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm here for. Like, I'm here to sit here and make your life easier because you make mine as easier. You feel me? So, as the services for real, I love that. Um, I'm not really a materialistic person. Like, I'm a fool. If you count food as materialistic, then yes. But if we don't count food, if y'all talking about like design of bags, clothes, anything like that no that's not really me i don't really care for that type of stuff as long as you make me happy and feed me i promise you all the materialist stuff give me that when you rich baby you don't have to break your neck to try to get me anything now i don't care for it I promise you unless like it's like maintenance because i gotta look good okay all right next question is did i tell my parents right away about me being sexually active y'all this is funny <laughs> no y'all my parents found out my parents found out I was sexually active. I did not want to tell them because it was like fairly young, I want to say, when I did do it. So no, I just never told them because it's just, I don't know, I think it's just different with everybody and they like people, like some people feel very comfortable just being open about that. My parents, it's just like, you can't be too, too comfortable with them because it's just like, I mean, you can because that's what they prefer. They talk to us about that, but I don't know. It's just like me personally, it's just like my parents, like, ugh. Tell them I, like it's different telling your homegirl that you sexually act versus you telling your mom and daddy because it's just like you tell your homegirls or your homeboys or whatever that you know you're doing your big one they gonna hype you up they gonna ask questions like how did it go da, da, da. when you tell your people it's just like they gonna ask the questions too but it's the life lessons afterwards and I don't think I was like mentally prepared for that because like y'all my people can talk my people can talk so it's just mm mm I did not tell them right away. They found out when they found out it was a whole big deal. It was very horrible, very ugly. I can tell you about that because that's how I got kicked out of the house, y'all. If y'all want a story time about how I got kicked out of the house and what I got to say to like go against that or whatever, I feel like it's important to tell your people that you're um, sexually active, but I feel like you shouldn't wait too long, but then you don't want to wait to get to a point where like you're pregnant or something. So if I could go back and tell my people, I definitely would because I'm at like at my big girl age now. I'm very comfortable telling my people anything. Like I tell them anything. So I mean, I would have told them then if I would have known like the outcome beforehand. I guess you could say, cause I didn't know how the outcome was gonna be, so I didn't care to tell them shit. But you know, 
me not telling them got me kicked out the house, y'all. So, mm -mm. like, even if you haven't been sexually active, if you're thinking about it, I still suggest telling them because that gives them that reassurance that you're thinking about it and they can be prepared for it. All the bullshit that comes behind it, whether it's you and that dude stop messing with each other, whether you pregnant, whether you catch something like they're mentally prepared for all of that because you sat there and told them ahead of time, like, you know, trying to do your big one. <laughs> How do I feel about birth control? Me personally, I don't fuck with the birth control just because I've heard of like all the side effects of it. Like, you could be depressed, you could gain weight, you can have mood swings. Um, nauseous. It's like all the pregnancy shit that I just personally don't want to go through. Especially the whole like, the, especially the whole like being depressed and stuff. I had my whole like encounter with that, and I just wasn't a fan. So I just seen like oh, there's nothing. I don't see my sister, my closest friends, my homegirls. I seen them on birth control, and I seen what it could do. Rather it was the weight, rather it was smooth things, rather it was by pulling it. I seen it all, and it was just like, oh no, this is not for me. I'm not a fan. Don't want to do this. So me personally, I'm not a fan of birth control. I don't care to do it. I wouldn't suggest it, but I mean, go off. Everybody's different. Everybody different. Especially if you know you're gonna be doing your big one all the time. I suggest getting on it. But me personally, I don't. I'm the type. I do my big one all the time. I do my big one all the time, but I just express to my partner like why I don't want to get in. Cause like usually that's one of the first things the dude asks you is, oh, are you on birth control? And it's just like, ugh, keep it cute. Don't get me pregnant, period. I look like I could be somebody's baby mama. And um, uh, me a baby mother, a baby mom. I don't. I would, y'all. I would actually be sick if a nigga could come up to me and be like, yeah, that's my baby mama. Yeah, who? Do you have any advice about being careful during sex? Yes, y'all got hella advice on that. Um, you're not on birth control, wrap it up. Even if you are on birth control, wrap it up. That's all I gotta suggest to that. Just wrap it up, be safe, until you know that, you know, you're secured within your relationship to where you can take that bitch off and practice making babies. But just make sure you wrap it up because you never know, especially like a city out front, baby, you never know what people got going on. You never know what people got going on, so I just, I suggest wrapping it up. Wait till you're ready, obviously, like, wait till you're ready. Don't sit here and do it because a dude feeling you or a dude caressing you or whatever. Even if it's like setting the vibe, setting the mood, he doing that, and you're still not comfortable doing it, tell him. And if he can't accept, it's these niggas outside. And if he can't accept, then he's not for you, period question is, is sending news a good thing mm, y'all personally i'm not a fan of sending news um i just feel like what is the actual point like i don't know this is my opinion y'all i don't feel like there's no point in sending news especially like i think because i'm in a relationship it's just like my dude used to seeing what's tea so i shouldn't have to send what's tea but i just don't if he asks for him, that's like, that's dead. I'm not gonna send him no news because he asked for him. That's my biggest thing. Not, not even with my man, even if it was just a dude I'm talking to. If a dude asks me, can I send him news or send him pictures without my clothes on, whatever the case may be, if you try to beat around the bush, baby, no, I'm not doing that. It's not finna just see my goodies just for the free ski, no. I do not play them games. And I just feel like, I don't know, that's how men and boys like to judge women that's like a big factor based off you know their image what they got going on underneath clothes and i'm just not a fan because it's just like if you don't like me you're gonna like me for me you're gonna like me not just what my body can offer but what my mind and my soul can offer you're not gonna just like me because you know this tea baby no like then i just feel like it's kind of creepy because i don't experience some things where you know, I may have sent something. It wasn't a full like nudity picture, but I may have sent something and I get these comments and weird videos of them like wanting to play with themselves or jack off or whatever the case they may be. It's just weird and giving me pedophile vibes. So y'all will never ever ever see no internet shit about calling some noobs, you know.
How can you tell if a guy's not feeling you? Oh, baby, it's a lot of signs. I think personally, I think personally because I've dealt with different men in my life, I could tell when a guy's not feeling me like off rip. Uh, if a guy really wants you, okay, he gonna apply the pressure he needs to to make sure he has you, and he gonna keep applying that pressure to keep you. Just keep that in mind. If he don't apply pressure at the beginning, the middle, eh, he not for you. Cause, yeah, and I'm talking about applying pressure like, take you out to get to know you better because who just wants to link up and smoke all the time or link up and just sit in the car and talk all the time no you need to we need to actually do activities and stuff to see like what you into what i'm into see if you fucking with like let's say a dude or a female want to take me to bowling or whatever and i'm just sitting there dead as not having a good time baby you need to take that into accountability and then go find the next bitch because you need to know what i like and what i don't like and i just feel like if you know that you fucking with this and i'm not then why are you sitting here agging shit on like go find something better because obviously baby i am not what you was expecting what you was like looking for um and then just communication that's another thing communication communication is key to everything y'all i don't figure that out at my big girl age communication is key communication is just something that you want in order to grow within yourself within your relationships with other people and it's just like if a dude don't sit here and communicate with you off rip like i'm not talking about off rip like if a dude communicate with you off rip but he don't be consistent with his communication then that should give you all the signs you need to just put one of these up, put one of these up. and tell him to kick rocks because it's just like mm -mm, you're not gonna sit here and talk to me one day and then fuck around go two three days without talking to me and then call yourself wanting to spend the block and we just act like everything pieces and cream no baby I mean, when you say, how do you, how can you tell if a guy is feeling you? You could mean in a sexual way or just in a romantic way. Like, if it's sexual, then baby, a, a dude gonna tell you off rip if he, if he, you know, try to do his big one because that's how most guys are. Like, most guys find women attractive, not just from the mind and the soul, but from the body. So, yeah, off rip, a guy gonna tell you, like, a guy gonna tell you if he he trying to do his big one sexually. Now, romantically, that could go many ways. Like I said, communication, showing up, quality time. Um, I think then like the two main ones, communication and just quality time, cause that's what it is when you're trying to build a relationship with somebody. You wanna make sure you communicate with them on different levels as far as you know, just everyday life and then their personal life and then quality time just rather y'all lay up or y'all go do an activity like who doesn't like quality time okay next question is have i ever experienced a threesome y'all know i have never experienced no fucking threesome um will i do it yes y'all that's like on my bucket list like i really want to do a threesome just to see if i like it see if i'm fucking with it like i really want to do a threesome um i don't have no like specific time or anything like that i just want to do it i want to make sure i do it not just a random ass threesome with like random bitches i want to do it with my partner and then we bring someone into the mix have a good time and then if we like the good time we'll keep the good time around but if we don't like the good time then it's like okay i get to say that you know i experienced it but me personally me personally they might keep going around <laughs> and like i already got it planned out in my head how i want my threesome to go i want me my partner which i wanted to be fingers crossed, fingers crossed it's the partner i with now but i want it to be me my partner and then another female like i can't see myself doing it with a dude like two dudes i don't know that just gave me train vibes and i'm not a train type of female so I definitely want a female so I can enjoy myself and my my man can enjoy himself, okay? Because I'm not no stingy girl. I'm not no stingy woman. 
there's enough for us to cry around. I'm just playing y'all. Okay, biggest ick in a guy. Oh, it's a lot of things that icks me about men. So, so let's just start there. Um, being very nonchalant. If you're very nonchalant, that just irritates me because it's just like. You call yourself liking me, you call yourself wanna fuck with me, whatever the case may be, but you're so nonchalant, you're so non-caring. It's just like, ain't no way in hell you call yourself wanting to be with me. What? Um, that's number one. Number two, uh, when they breathe too hard. I'm just like, no, for real. Um, just kidding a little bit. Not when they breathe too hard, just, what else? Oh, communication, that's the ick about me. You gotta communicate with me. And me and my boo and I got to the point where we communicate about everything, rather it's like little shit like, oh, we gotta go take a shit, or it's big shit like something very personal and very like heart touching. And you know, we done got to that point where we communicate about every little thing. So I feel like communication's one. If a dude's not communicating with you, that's. I don't like that. Um, oh, just always talking about sex like i hate when a dude just always want to talk about sex like there's lots of things that's great about me bookie um knowing if i like missionary or doggy style does not get you higher up on the roster baby okay i actually knock you down a few five people okay because what the fuck like i don't know just always talking about sex just makes me uncomfortable because just like now i know what your intentions are now i know that when I come around you, that's that's one of the first two things that's on your mind, and it's not number two. So, mm -mm. oh, being disrespectful. Not only just like being disrespectful to me, but being disrespectful to like my people. Cause y'all, I, me personally, I do not play about my people. I don't play about my mom, my dad, my sisters. I don't even play about my friends who are like family to me. So if you sit here and call yourself ever disrespecting them that automatically gets you knocked down two points because it's just like now why is you sitting here because i know if you could sit here and disrespect them and it could be like little disrespect like yeah i don't play about disrespect at all because the way i was raised disrespecting people is just something that we wasn't raised to do rather even if it's just like a little yes ma'am yes sir no ma'am no sir like we was told not to sit here and disrespect our people so when I feel like a dude can sit here and just talk to someone who's a little more older, because we're adults, yeah, so we can talk to people how we feel. But I don't know, it's just something, my preference, how I was raised, if you can go around free nearly just saying, yeah, no, or shut the fuck up and all that, all the disrespectful little things, I just know when it comes to like bigger things, you're gonna get more disrespectful. And it's just something I don't fucking deal with. Mm -mm. All right, so next question is, how do you know if a man will be a great partner in the talking stage? Just based off, it's, me personally, it was based off the first link, the first time we linked up, um, first time we linked up, he already had a blade, a blade. He already had a date planned out as far as like, literally our first time linking like usually you know the first time linking or whatever you sit in the car kicking and kicking and talking and just making sure you know you can feel the person's energy with just y'all too but no he actually had a whole day planned and nigga pulled up with flowers opened my door for me gave me hugs and kisses like i was already his i was already his like i already knew like yeah this is mine because it's just like his presentation off rip already showed me the type of man he was and then he kept that presentation up to this day like to this day he still buys me flowers he still plans that i don't really plan dates like me personally i did that in the past with other niggas because i had to because it's just like they wasn't as romantic as i was but no since me and my boo has been dating i don't plan no dates he literally tell me make sure you have your camera ready because i got this that the third plan for us and i want you to vlog it because i know you're gonna like it like little things like that i just i just i just knew it and then like before we even linked like we talked a little bit through text and he already knew the type of shit i did as far as like content youtube work he like he already knew everything that i did so he worked around it like he planned out dates that he know that'll be content worthy 
um even if i'm not feeling like just recording my like having my camera out and stuff he's still playing dates that he know that i would enjoy and if it's something he's not sure about he always come to me and tell me like you know babe this is what i had planned for us just let me know if you fucking with it if not i'm gonna find something else and i'm just like the next question is should relationships be 50 50. um i feel like yeah you know it depends on the type of dudes you have um because me always going into relationships i always thought it was supposed to be 50 50 because of um you know what i see and stuff whether it was real life whether it was instagram or movie i always thought shit was like 50 50. but in this time and day you have some people out here who don't want you working at all just want you to sit here cook clean keep 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 her wet just do your big one as far as a potential wife i feel like i don't know i feel like if you're doing those things then he can take care of all the other things because you gotta think like you just gotta think about people and just like gender roles and stuff like when it comes to dudes you don't really see well you have i ain't gonna lie you have some dudes out here who cook who clean who like to do things of that nature but you have some who's just like a go getter who's like a go money getter basically so i feel like if you the one can be the go money getter do your big one keep bringing money in i can do my big one as far as making sure you're good as far as keeping our house clean cleaning i'm cleaning all right cooking um yeah shit like that doing two things then like the main things cooking clean okay i feel like i could do that but as far as 50 50 as far as bills and stuff uh, i feel like it just depends on your financial situation because not everybody's built the same not everyone is like capable of playing a 50 50 role you feel me so it's just like if i feel like if a female make more than their husband or their significant other then they should be the ones to take care of some of that like take care of more of that responsibility than um then like the other person because it's just like you don't want to see this is your partner we're talking about like this is someone you want to see flourish and grow hopefully so this is someone you want to see flourish and grow and you know eventually become their own person in a big way so if you make it more than them but you sit here trying to play this 50 50 role it's just like how are they going to benefit off it? if they're trying to do their 50 percent but still trying to work on themselves it's just like we ain't gonna get too much to know it, baby. Okay, last question, y'all. Is keeping my virginity as sacred as I think it is? Um, yes, I feel like. I feel like keep your virginity as long as possible. Like, I'm telling y'all, from woman to woman, woman to man, sex is, well, I can't, I can't speak for the man. Let me take that back. Woman to woman, you're still a virgin keep your virginity it's not it's not as big or as worth it as you swear or as people hype it up to be like yes after a while it, it is kind of enjoyable fun whatever but this generation is getting worse and worse by the day y'all mm-hmm yeah so just keep it as long as you can uh, whoever feels the type of way that you want to keep something that is as sacred as your virginity then they're not for you, okay? You see, you stand on business when it comes to your poom poom, okay? Like, don't sit here and think because he the finest nigga in the world and he calls himself wanting to do things with you that you're supposed to give it up. Girl, you crazy? Cause he the finest nigga in the world and he think that you're gonna give up. He don't try it. You better not fold. Or if he's sweet talking you and you know you don't want to give it up, don't let his sweet talk make you come out your head. Yeah, y'all. Mm-mm. Keep that virginity, y'all. I'm telling you, women to women. I'm women to women. I'm telling you, woman to woman, just keep it. I promise you, it's kind of, it is worth it. Just keeping it. Um, I really can't say too much now because, like, I don't did my big one. So, I'm kind of used to it now. You feel me? But, if I could go back in time and just, like, stop, pause think about everything that I've done then I probably wouldn't have done it mm -mm. it's not even it's not worth it okay 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat. Y'all, I really have to use the bath. I have to use the bathroom very bad. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed our little girls talk because it was tea. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, join the Casita gang because you're going to love it here. Period. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video.